3.9 of the world's land. So uh, the people don't have the enough space to live in China right now. I think this is the biggest problem. And second, I want to talk to you about the rising price. The big population also takes the rising price to China. The rising prices uh, mean uh, that uh, every, everything price goes up and up. For example, in 1990s of China, the family only need to pay 300 RMB to, uh, to buy the food for each man. But right now, I think it will be cost 2,000 RMB to buy the food for uh, each man. Uh, it, is, it is a very big change. And on the other hand, the housing price also goes up and up. For example, in Beijing, if you want to buy a house uh, apartment near the center of the city, it will be cost maybe five million, five million RMB to buy it. So there are a lot of people are living with their fam uh, with their parents because they don't have the enough money to buy the apartment for themselves. <coughs> and third of all, there are a lot of people <coughs> lose their job uh, because of the big population. Because you know the government doesn't have the enough uh, enough work for every people. Uh, uh, so for example, if there are two people are finding the same job, the first guy only need uh, uh, need one thousand dollars for this job each man, but the second person only needs eight hundred uh, dollars for this job. I think the company will ask the second person to do this job. So this means the first guy will uh, lose his job, and he needs uh, it will waste his time and. Uh, also a big pressure for his family. Uh, there are millions of people who lose their job in China uh, every year. They need to wait at home and try to find another job. Okay, let's move on to the environment problem. I think the environment, environment problem is uh, also a big problem for all over the world. Uh, but the big population is the source of the environment problem in China. Uh, you know, uh, right now maybe a lot of uh, most of the Chinese have have their uh, own cars, and the cars make the power guys. Uh, so the area in China is not very clean. And on the other hand, uh, there are a lot of a lot of waste cars by the uh, by the people in China because we need the wood to make money, um, to, to make to make uh, paper and. Uh, a lot of things that's very useful in the life. So the, uh, the, the big population also takes the environment direction. And finally, I will talk about the aging of the population. Uh, the, uh, there are nearly 1.5 billion people are there, uh, living in China right now, and, 12, and there are 12.5% of them are the old people. They had done a lot of work when they were young, and so the government needs to pay a lot of money to make them have a good life. Uh, so they stay at home and waste money from the government. This is a big problem for the government and also for the young people, because the young people need to work harder uh, to waste, uh, to save their money, uh, to save money to, uh, to buy their own apartment. And also need to pay the money to their parents. I think this is a big pressure for them. Uh, but it also has an advantage of the big population in China. That is the cheap labor. Uh, you know, there are a lot of clothes are made in China because China has the cheapest, uh, cheapest labor in the world. So many years ago, uh, the Indian government said they want to uh, catch up the population of China in uh, in the past uh, in the last in the last 20 years, and they really do it. I think it's very crazy. And, and right now, the government of China also thinks a lot of ways to serve the big population, like the family uh, like the family planning. Uh, that is, the parents only can have one child, and the government also doesn't allow people to get married before 20 years old. And uh, 
Right now, I think the big population will help China a lot. And thank you for listening to me.